Because we humans, we are constrained by two elements. That is, from a philosophical perspective, something that could change our perceptions, our constrictions in terms of light, yes. But physically speaking, physically speaking, think about it. It's time and space. That's it. How do you know that? Uh, I know. I'm, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Time. <laughs> that is our human condition. Like there is nothing that we can do in terms of time. We cannot stop it, can we? So, in terms of time and space, we are constrained by these two elements. AI is not. As a result of they are not being constrained by this space, by this time, the piece of learning is exponential compared to us. So we cannot reach how fast they learn. It's not happening yet. For some people it's happening. Like AI is already ahead of us. For some people it's not. We don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I guess what we know about AI is this little bit, I reckon, isn't it? But everything below that is something that is unreachable to us. Some people in military, some people in governments, high level, they may know what is the very root of that. But believe me, guys, the very reason AI is accessible to us in things like ChatGPT and so on is because it has been proven and used by military and governments probably for 10 years already. You know what I mean? So, so what, what we are discussing in terms of AI is the surface. It is very hard for you, for me, for anyone here to actually say, you know what? AI has already passed us or is about to get there. But what I can tell you for sure, for sure, is that at the very point in which AI is ahead of us in terms of learning, there is a name for that point and the name of that is called Singularity. <coughs> so what is the point of Singularity? The point of Singularity is the point in which AI has surpassed us in terms of how we learn. We humans, we humans, we are stupid. And we are also delusional. You know why we are stupid? Because we build things that can really kill us. Like for example, nuclear bombs. They can kill us. If Iran goes crazy, Russia goes crazy, India goes crazy, the States goes crazy, this is it, gone. So we are stupid. We build things that can kill us, but we are also delusional. We want to believe that we are not going to use those arms in the wrong way. With AI, the same situation. We are building something that we know, that we know can control us. Now, understanding they can control us, some of us still, we keep researching about it, we keep developing software, we keep developing products, understanding that even at some point, they can control us. That is the delusional part. But there is nothing that will stop this. It will be regulated at some point, yes. You know who is Joe Biden? He did, he did something extraordinary in October 2023. He published an executive order about artificial intelligence. And he published it, you can look at it anytime, in your computers, right now. And what he's saying is, we have to disclose when a company is using AI for business purposes. One thing. The other thing that he said in that executive order is we need to invite people that are researching and working on AI to become part of this country. 
to invite them to live and work in this country because we want these people to do the research in this country, not in the other country. Okay? He also disclosed that if someone is researching on AI, they need to report on those advancements to government so the AI is not uncontained. I respect those three things about that executive order. First of all, I respect that if you are using AI, you need to say to your clients, your customers, hey, look, this is AI. Guys, because let's be honest, there will be one point which is just around the corner in which is going to be very difficult for you guys to see the difference between something that is artificially created and something that is actually real. You agree with me on that one? Like there are videos, fake videos, <coughs> and we are just starting. There will be a point where it will be almost impossible for you to know if that person is actually real or not. So the executive order is telling businesses, if you do that, if you use that technology, you need to disclose it. I believe that I want to know, that I should be told. Hey, this hamburger has 80% of cow beef and 20% crickets. I believe I should know. I believe that I should know if this orange came from Spain, okay? Or if that orange came from Queensland. Because I would prefer to buy the orange from Queensland. But again, in Australia, we have regulations for we customers to have enough information so we can make informed decisions. So in the same line, in the same line, I believe that if a company is using artificial intelligence to write your assessments, to write your programs, the ones that you're paying for, I believe the school should tell you, hey, the teacher is real, but the assessments and the content has been created using AI. That is what Biden said that we should do, and I like that. I like that piece of information. Second one, I 100% believe, 100%, that countries that will be ahead of the game, that will be highly productive, that will be highly successful, will be the countries that will be using, mastering artificial intelligence. Strongly believe that. <coughs> so I believe that it's a very good move that the United <coughs> States has a very independent program to invite people <coughs> to live and work in the United States if you have a project, business, or idea <coughs> related to AI. I find that extraordinary. And if you want to know about this program, because I apply for it. <coughs> it's called NYW Visa. Okay. Which means National Interest Waiver. Waiver means that you don't need to have an employer, you don't need to have an investment, you don't need to have an invitation from anyone. You independently, because of the work that you do, the research that you do, in new technologies, engineering, artificial intelligence, and STEM areas, you have a case to present to the states, and if they like it, guess what will happen? You will be invited to leave the keyboard there. <laughs> 